Hey, Jonathan Dakota from the Jones dealership in Lancaster. I want to take a couple minutes here to shoot you a video of the 2019 GMC Acadia SLT1 that I have here. One that you and I spoke with the phone with, I think kind of suits uh, all the needs that you're looking for as far as having the leather. Uh, does come equipped with remote start. So if I just press the lock, press and hold the circle, that starts right up and that'll run for 15 minutes for two whole cycles. Press and hold it again, it'll shut right off. Does also come equipped with a rear power lift gate. As far as I know, we talked about safety features being important to you. As you can see here in the mirrors, the little car in here, might be a little hard to tell, but there's a little car and a star that'll actually light up amber that if somebody's in your blind spot or traveling at a high rate of speed up beside you. Also, if you flick your turn signal on, um, it'll also start flashing to let you know that somebody's coming before you were to transition over, potentially causing an accident. Now, the Acadia SLT does come with the power lift gate. It also is programmable. So the third row right here, these do collapse right down. You just pull the scratch, push them forward. Both sides do the same. Now on the side here, it's a couple different levers. If I were to go ahead and pull the top one, it collapses right down the second row, makes it easier to get things out without having to go back and forth, um, moving the seat configuration all around. Go ahead and just give that guy a touch. Go ahead and close this right, right down as well. Now, we said safety with some other important features to you. So we have some other, so we have rear park sensors. So those are the ones that beep at you when you get too close, when you're backing up. The Acadia also comes equipped with the rear cross traffic alert. And that's what this sensor is. That's the one that shoots a beam, looking for cars coming, uh, making sure if you're pulling out of a supermarket or anything like that, no one's gonna come from the side and clip you. It's gonna let you know on the rear uh, view camera. Does not have a gas cap. It is capless fuel. And these guys collapse right back up real. Now in the back here, you do have a couple different options here. You do have tri-climate control. So you can go ahead and adjust that. And for anybody in the back, you can also lock it up front if you have kids or dogs or anything. Uh, they do give you a 110 volt, two USBs, additional storage. Now this one is equipped with the dual skyscape sunroof in the front and the rear. The front is and will open. The rear is just fixed glass. But kind of opens up the cab a little bit. Now if you notice on the outside of the doors, you'll see this little silver button. If I press this button, it'll actually lock and unlock the door. So I can come up and just unlock this door, have the key right in my pocket. That way if you're at a parking garage or anything like that at nighttime, you can subtly just hop in your vehicle, uh, not draw a whole lot of attention to yourself. The SLTs do come with premium Bose audio, and there is the programmable lift gate. So if you park inside, you can actually turn it to three quarter, it won't come up quite as high, hit any kind of shelving or anything like that you have in the house. Or some people who might not be as tall, if they like that feature, if they have shoulder pains, don't have to reach as high. Push button start. I'm Philip Phillips. Now it does have a full integrated touchscreen display. Real user friendly. Works just like a smartphone. You press up audio, uh, left, right, flick through stations, pull them right up. You do have built in navigation. That's not a subscription, it is just built into the car. Again, it's real user friendly. Hit destination, type in what type, punch in the address, find stuff around you as well. Projection. It's for the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, if you choose to use that as well. I plug it in your smartphone to any of the USBs, uh, you can use that if you don't like the navigation system. Either way, whatever is more comfortable for you. Now they do have real-time weather, that is a Sears XM subscription. So if you do choose to keep that, you can actually display what's going on around you. Today you can do the five day forecast, you can check out different locations. You got a couple different options. Also comes with rear traffic, tells you about things going on around you in your area. And you control the rear climate from up here as well. SLTs do come equipped with heated seats in the front. 
as far as dual climate and the tri, of course, in the back. Now, down below here, you'll see the uh, selector switch. So right now it's in two wheel drive. Days like today, it's nice out. I don't need to go into all wheel unless I get into a different situation. But if I just go ahead and turn this guy, you'll see it lights up amber, pops me right over to all wheel. There is a sport mode and an off-roading mode. But days like today, just to get better fuel economy, I just keep it in two wheel. Rear park sensors. So those ones that I showed you in the back, those are the ones that beep at you when you start getting too close, uh, prevent you from you know coming in contact with whatever's behind you. Just some added safety here. So the tachometer, you can choose what you want to see, flip in between and out, trip A, uh, speed here. But actually that little speed sign, that white box that you see on the right hand side, if I'm driving down the highway, it'll actually tell me the speed of the road I'm on in case you're driving long miles and forget. And as you can see, this does have a little bit of mileage on it. This is one of my courtesy transportation vehicles that I had in that has recently been pulled out. So on top of it having a little bit of miles, I can also heavily discount it better to make some work for you. Now we're talking about a lease, so it would not affect your lease. I did work it up for a full 15,000 miles. It's just, it makes it better for you um, as far as a monthly payment goes. And at the end of the lease, it doesn't affect your mileage, so. Again, flip it through the tachometer, oil life, you can see your tire pressure, uh, your fuel economy, set a timer, battery. You can also flip between a couple different, you can check out the radio, you can change it from up here, you can go into your phone contacts. I can pull up the navigation from here, it'll actually display which way, if in case I have my radio screen doing something else for me, or if I have someone else controlling it. So up top here we do have sunglass holder, it is felted, go ahead and stop things from getting prevented from getting scratched up. Universal home remote kind of goes in tune with the uh, rear power lift gate. You can go ahead and set your house if you do park in a garage. You can set your remote right up to here. Now every garage door is different, so you have to read the manual on how to set yours up. Um, front sunroof is tilt, and it will slide all the way open. The rear is fixed glass, of course. Uh, and then they do give you a couple other buttons up here as well, as far as turning all the lights in the vehicle on at once. Or if you want to prevent the courtesy lights from turning on when you open the door. Now all our vehicles are equipped with OnStar, so you do get a 30-day trial of their safety and security package. Uh, neat stuff to check out. In case uh, they offer different things like slow uh, stolen vehicle slowdown um, for people breaking and entering. They can actually alert the authorities, slow the vehicle down, have it be there by time. So there's all different kinds of stuff with this guy. I want to take a couple minutes here, um, go over some features and options with you. Make sure you had a good understanding of the vehicle and also have pricing included in here. So there you have the Acadia. Look forward to talking to you, sir. Thanks.